Centralized HVAC systems, like a split system, have an indoor and outdoor unit. The indoor unit can be installed in the basement or attic of the house. They distribute air to every corner of the house from the indoor unit via ductwork. A centralized system has only one indoor unit that produces hot or cold air. This unit supplies air to the whole house. A split system and a window unit have individual units that produce cold or hot air. Each room in the house will need one such unit. Recall that the electrical wires and refrigerant lines connect the indoor and outdoor units. The refrigerant flows in the discharge line from the outdoor to the indoor unit. The refrigerant flows in the suction line from the indoor to the outdoor unit. Centralized HVAC systems are great for keeping large areas at a uniform temperature. They can provide cool or hot air to multiple rooms or entire houses at once. Centralized systems are used in large areas beyond the reach or capacity of a window unit or split systems. We see centralized systems installed in big houses and mansions. The air is circulated uniformly throughout the house in centralized HVAC systems. So, there are no cold or hot corners in the house. Homes are heated or cooled uniformly by the system. As the air is circulated through ducts in centralized systems, we can install a different air filter in the ducts. Some modern air filters installed in the ducts even claim to clean different bacteria and viruses. This gives us much cleaner air. The outdoor unit is located outside the house in the garden. The indoor unit in a centralized system can be located in the basement or the house's attic. So a room with a centralized HVAC system is quieter than a room installed with split systems. A centralized HVAC system is not at all visible inside the room. We can only see air grills and the thermostat control in the room. Recall that air grills are the outlet or inlet of the ducts. Many owners love the fully concealed HVAC system. The outdoor unit of the centralized HVAC system has a power cable. We connect this cable to the mains power socket in the wall. We usually call this outdoor socket the disconnect box. In some systems, the indoor unit will also has a separate power cable. We connect this cable to the mains power socket in the wall. All centralized HVAC systems can cool and heat the house as needed. The thermostat has a button to set the system in heating or cooling mode. We can set the temperature inside the room by using a remote control or buttons on the indoor unit. Let us look at a video that shows the working of a centralized system. Recall the components of a refrigeration cycle. Compressor, condenser, metering device, and evaporator. A centralized unit has all these components and uses the refrigeration cycle to cool a room. Centralized HVAC systems have a gas furnace installed in the indoor unit. The gas furnace provides heat to the house when in heating mode. Recall that gas furnaces use natural gas to heat the system. Let us look at a video to recall the working of a gas furnace. Natural gas is burnt in a gas furnace. The smoke from burning natural gas passes through a heat exchanger. Air then heats up as it flows over the heat exchanger plates. This hot air heats our house.